In the meantime, Tim Tebow shows up in Jacksonville, Florida. And again, I don't get the hand-wringing over this. I don't get the he doesn't deserve it over this. I can't get the Tim Tebow dislike. I don't get it. I don't get it. Because when it all comes down to it, he is only getting a shot in Jacksonville that would have gone to an unnamed individual whose career nobody pays attention to or knows about or is, if you will, rooting for outside of that person's immediate family because he's trying to make the Jacksonville Jaguars tight end room. That's it. Honestly. And does does Tim Tebow deserve the shot at age 33 over that person? Maybe not. Maybe not. Does that person have a relationship that goes back to Urban Meyer's Florida days that wound up with this kid being one of the best college players of his day? Of course not. That's why the guy's getting a shot. Is that kid from Jacksonville, from the Duval County area? Maybe. Is he as popular as Tim Tebow? No. No, no, no. And then the whole concept of what happens with Tim Tebow. The latest example of anything can happen with Tim. Could make the team, he could not make the team. And (laughs) Urban Meyer will be able to point out to his entire locker room that might be thinking he's getting a special shot. Well, when it all came out in the end, he wasn't the best 53. The best 53 are in this room. Let's go to work. Let's go to Houston and try and beat Jeff Driscoll or... Davis Mills or Terod Taylor. It won't be Deshaun Watson. Certainly not week one. And further proof of that is my colleague from the NFL media group, Ian Rappaport. Did you see what he reported this morning, Chris Brockman? On his salary situation? Yeah, Yeah. one year. Yeah, I saw that. $920,000. That is the veteran's minimum. That is the minimum. None of it's guaranteed. I mean, it's just they're taking a flyer on this thing. And this thing is a 33-year-old who can maybe still play, who definitely represents the Urban Meyer culture, whatever that may be, that he wishes to instill in the locker room. Also to maybe say to everyone in the locker room, the relationships that we're starting right now are for life. That says he's the embodiment of that. Hey, guys, what... You and I are doing right now what I decided to do right here by coming out of retirement and giving myself a shot at the NFL. Everybody in the locker room knows it's because Trevor Lawrence was coming and and Urban knows that if you don't have the generationally talented quarterback attached to your hip right from day one, it's a, a lesser opportunity than the, than the one that he currently has. That makes sense, but he's also still putting out on the line by doing it. Hey, guys, everyone in this locker room, see that guy over there, number 85? We go way back. You play for me, and you do the right things for me, and I'll do the right by you. Meaning, if an opportunity that I could afford you comes up nine years from now, in this locker room or elsewhere, I'm there for you. Let's go to work. What hurts? What's wrong with that? And then the most laughable aspect of this that you heard about when Tim Tebow initially was on the radar screen is like, yeah, I don't know if the rest of the locker room will be on board with that. Tough. And guess what? The whole laughable part about it, too, is I don't know if the um, management, do you think management really is involved in that? (laughs) Adam Schefter tweeting out about an hour ago, the top five, not one, not two, not three, it's like the heat. Not four. <laughs> the top five selling items on NFLshop.com right now are Tim Tebow related gear. Hey now. Get your number 85. Number one is the men's selling number 85. Number two is the women's selling number 85. And guess what, people? He may be 15 by the summer. With all due respect to Gardner Minshew, who currently owns 15. He may be 15, so cha-ching one more time. And then you make the team? And then what happens week one? 
Are we talking about the Jaguars a little bit more? Yeah, you bet we are. Relevance is just as important in this world if you're sitting in the owner's box watching your brains get beaten in on the field with the exception of a couple of Tom Coughlin years. 2.0. Come on. It's a no-brainer. World keeps spinning. Still keeps spinning. Cage Brockman wasn't sleeping last night. He was not. Doesn't matter if Tim Tebow was going to be on the tight end <laughs> roster or not. That was going to happen. Yep. I honestly don't get it, and I can't wait to see it. Yeah. What, what? And 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 if you notice, yes. there's just there was just an announcement and a quote from Tebow. They didn't do what the Jets did, which is like invite everybody to appear somewhere yeah. and say, let's just have Tim stroll out and answer all these questions like he's some sort of superstar player. Urban, I think, is showing you he's just gonna he's gonna do what he wants to do. It's his opportunity. It's his uh, operation. And he's going to take the air out of whatever store he wants to take the air out of. It's not his first rodeo. It's a big deal. Also, Tim showed up looking swole. Rocked. Yeah. Yoked up. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.